Alright guys, I'm back today with another quick video here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator. Now, there are some key differences here. I'm going to go over Photoshop first since I actually am in Photoshop. Now, I set this up beforehand, but the main thing to know about Photoshop is it is raster based, which means it's based on pixels. This is important because it's not scalable. If you enlarge something that you design in Photoshop, it will look pixelated. I'm about to show you an example. So if I zoom in here, you're probably going to hear my keyboard. We can see the pixels. Now this is the main thing I wanted to go over in Photoshop. Do not design logos in Photoshop because normally logos are needed at many different sizes so it doesn't make Photoshop the best software to use. Whereas going over to Illustrator, Illustrator is based on vector. Now what does this mean? Vector means it's based on line, which is based on math, which means it's scalable, which is why Illustrator is a great tool or software, I should say, to use to design logos. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see the difference here. Right now, I'm at 200%. Now, I'm at 600, 800, 1,200%. And you can see that the lines still look crisp. This is extremely important for logo designs. If you have to design like a billboard or anything that you have to like scale up or down. Another thing to note about Photoshop is if you were to take an image in Photoshop, I guess I can switch back over. I think I have one here actually. If you take an image that you create, you bring it into Photoshop and you kind of scale it down and then you bring it back up, you're actually going to be losing some of the information of that image. So the more you do that, the more damaged the file becomes, which is also a thing to look out for. When you export from Illustrator to a JPEG or a PNG or whatever, that is then raster based. The main benefit of Illustrator is the source file, so the AI file. Because if you have a client who comes back to you later, you can just resize it and then send them the new JPEG or PNG file. Anyways guys, that's the basics of what I wanted to go over in today's video. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!